Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. It's been three years and 46,000 miles that I've owned my 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. And I've brought you guys along the way the whole time, documenting issues I've had, some adventures I've gone in it, cool features, and the like. So definitely check out those videos on my Jeep playlist on the channel. So instead of rehashing all of those past videos, today I'm going to give you my top five things I hate about the vehicle and top five things I love about the vehicle. And just to be clear, I really do love this vehicle, but every vehicle has things that need to be improved upon. So without further ado, here we go. So number five on the list of hates is the start stop system. And this system can be turned off, but the button to turn it off resets every time you start the vehicle. And I would love it if it would just remember the last setting. So I am putting this in order of severity. This is the least uh, uh, worst thing. And there is a solution. I use the smart stop, stop system uh, that I installed on the vehicle. Coming in at number four on the list of hates, the headlights of the Trailhawk. And unfortunately in 2015, there were no available upgrades as far as HID lights or anything. So they came from the factory with the incandescent halogen lights, the yellow lights that did not match the LEDs up front. And I ended up replacing them with color matching halogens, but still it did not give the light output that I would expect from a vehicle of this price range. I rectified this with the light bar up front, but this could only be used in high beam situations. Number three on the list is fuel economy, and I know Jeeps aren't known for good fuel economy, but this in combination with the small fuel tank gives only a little over 200 miles of range, which is annoying. And again, I don't drive in the most efficient manner, a lot of city and some highway driving, but this is a little excessive. Number two on the list is everybody's favorite nine speed automatic transmission. Now this transmission has had quirky shifting since I bought it, even after numerous software updates. But in the same token, it has never let me down or failed me and I don't worry that it is going to fail. It's just never going to be the smoothest transmission out there. And I know they've made improvements since the 2015 model year for even better shifting and refinement. So I wouldn't not buy this vehicle for this reason, but just know that it's not going to be the smoothest transmission out there. Now for the number one thing I hate the most about my Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. It's the front wheel drive bias of the four wheel drive system. So when the four wheel drive system is in auto, it mainly stays in front wheel drive, giving that front wheel drive push. Also, it spins the front tires actually, even on the road. This, this is event, I took it in the snow, uh, snow cross event, which of course is not typical for a Jeep owner. But this just exaggerates the fact that even in, I had it in sport mode, and which is supposed to be more rear biased, it's not. Uh, the weight of the vehicle is front heavy and it just pushes like no other. I, I just really wish they kept it either full-time all-wheel drive or I would have loved a rear bias, but that's not really possible in a front-wheel drive based vehicle. But enough of the hate, let's move on to the top five things I love about my Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Number five on the list of loves of the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk is the wonderful interior. It's very comfortable, quiet, has some great unique features, including it turns on the heated seats and heated steering wheel when it's below 40 degrees automatically. It has a power tailgate, great stereo, keyless entry and start. And it's just all around nice place to be. The Uconnect system works great, has a nice digital dash. Also, I love the option to turn on the auto electronic parking brake. So when you put it in park, it'll set the parking brake for you. 
and then when you switch it in the drive and press on the accelerator, it'll release it. Very cool feature and I love it. Number four on the list is the ride and handling of the Jeep. It does ride a little firmer because it is the Trailhawk compared to the base Cherokee, but I like the sense of control it gives around corners. It's like a sport suspension. In addition, it handles very well for the ride height. So it is lifted one inch compared to the standard Cherokee, and it's a lot higher than other car-based CUVs on the market. And it just gives you a really cool commanding view of the road. And of course, the increased ground clearance is awesome for off-road or heavy snow. And I love experiencing the opposite when I get into my Corvette compared to the Jeep. Number three of the list of things I love about the Trailhawk is the four-wheel drive low range with a locking rear differential. That's unheard of in a car-based SUV. And this has it, has both. And I was complaining about the four-wheel drive system on road, but when four-wheel drive low, it locks those front and rear axles together. So it spins in tandem. And with that locking rear differential, those rear, those rear tires are spinning together as well. Now it's not a Wrangler off-road, but it does handle decently. And with that strong frame, it's nice solid feeling. And one of the things I love about it. Number two on the list is the availability of a 271 horsepower 3.2 liter V6 on the Cherokee. And this is increasingly rare among CUVs. You're mostly stuck with four cylinder naturally aspirated or turbo engines, which just don't sound that great and don't give you the response. And in this case, I put an AFE permanent air filter in the engine and it sounds pretty decent. And the number one thing I love about the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk is the rugged styling. Not everyone loves it, and this is the 2019 version, tames it a little bit, but I really like how rugged it looks compared to other CUVs on the market. Now, I did do some improvements with the one and a quarter inch wheel spacers, as you see here, and I just love those beefy wheels it comes with as well. So after three years of ownership, I really still am enjoying this vehicle. There just really isn't anything out on the market that competes with it as far as the off-road ability, styling, and comfort. So tell me what you guys think of the list in the comments below. Also, definitely check out my Jeep playlist on CarGuy11 YouTube for detailed videos of everything I mentioned in this video and more. And thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Definitely give it a like. And I'll see you in the next video.